Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm honored to stand here today to deliver my speech. My family was so proud of me, especially my mom, who cared more about whether my makeup is nice or my costume today is done or not. But actually, I don't care. I just want to be me. So I have two questions for you guys. Have you ever felt unsatisfied with your looks? Or have you ever wanted to be more good looking? Yes, I can see some nodding here. Well, like me, I used to think I had a big nose, also a very dark skin. Even there was a time I wanted to do some changes to myself. I know some of you have this feelings as well, but this phenomenon is unhealthy apparently. Then how can we change it? Here, let's come to my speech today. Embrace yourself. I would like to share my opinions with you from the view of society and my own experiences and with how to embrace yourself. First, we need to know we live in a world today where everything has changed really rapidly, especially aesthetic. What I mean is the social media like TikTok and Red Boots are very popular among people at all ages, where there are a lot of celebrities sharing short videos about perfect makeups, expensive clothing and bags, or delicate lifestyles like this. Well, at that at one moment, some of you are fascinated by them because they seem to be perfect without any flaws. But here's the problem. The perfect world they create is totally far away from reality. There is no way for us to reach them. But still, many boys and girls these days are trying so hard to reach all the impossible standards, so many ridiculous methods came out, some even dangerous, like facial surgery. It seems if we don't look good, or change to look good, we deserve to be judged. We're conditioned to be embarrassed about certain parts of our body, and we're told to fix all the flaws we have. Well, back to my story. What changed my attitude towards my appearance? It's a song called Scars Too Beautiful. Some lines hit me like lightning. Let's hear one sentence. You should know you're beautiful just the way you are. That was the first time I sank into the meditation. Do I really have to change how I look just because of cause others' judgments? No, my answer is definitely no. But those judgments are objective existing with no instance disappear. So leaving us with one option, changing those judgments by ourselves and show what's real with no filters and with no shame. Now some of you might ask, how can we do it? Well, from my own experiences, the first thing I did was to realize there is no need for us to be defined as physical good-looking and the stereotype that that is supposed to be changed. We are unique. We can be outgoing, confident, courageous. There are so many things beyond beauty. In addition, we can move our focus to some broader issues like we can care more about the people around us, our community, and even our world. Doing this can totally make us to be more charming, not just being a hollow beauty with nothing in sight. In the end, let's go back to the song. You don't have to change, the world could change its heart. Today, maybe we are a society which regards beauty as justice. We're teased, underestimated, even judged for our looks. But who knows what tomorrow will be like? As long as we stop hesitating, self-doubting, and just speak up, more and more people will stop suffering, and maybe someday we really can change the world. So let's start it from now on. Embrace ourselves because we are, as we will be, as we're meant to be, imperfectly beautiful. Thanks for listening.